Introduction. There's something about photography that captures moments like no other art form can. Every moment tells a story, and every story is unique in its own way. Photographers have the ability to tell those stories through their lens, capturing the moments, the details, and the perspectives that make them so special. As a photographer, I've learned to appreciate the little details that so often go unnoticed. The way the sunlight filters through the trees, the way a smile can light up a face, or the way a cloud casts a shadow over the horizon, these are all moments that I strive to capture. When I pick up my camera, it's like putting on a different set of eyes. Suddenly, the world around me takes on a new perspective. I see things in a way that most people don't, and I'm always on the lookout for those unique moments that make life so interesting. It's not just the big moments that matter, either. Sometimes it's the small details that make all the difference. The way a flower petal catches the light, the way a blade of grass bends in the wind, or the way a raindrop clings to a leaf, these are all moments that can be just as powerful as any big event. As a photographer, my lens is my tool. It helps me to zoom in on those little moments that most people would never notice. It helps me to see the world in a new way and capture those moments that might otherwise be forgotten. But photography isn't just about capturing a moment, it's about telling a story. Through my lens, I can share the beauty of the world with others. I can tell a story that might inspire or uplift someone else or help them see the world in a new way. In many ways, photography is a lot like life. It's about finding the beauty in the details and looking at things from a new perspective. It's about capturing those moments that make life worth living and sharing them with others. Whether I'm photographing a childhood memory, a stunning landscape, or a quiet moment of reflection, there's something magical about the act of capturing a moment. Through my lens, I can freeze time for just a moment and hold on to that memory forever. It's this magic that keeps me coming back to photography time and time again. No matter where life takes me, I know that my lens will always be with me, ready to capture the next moment that takes my breath away. Question, what is the main focus of photography? Check the video description for the answer. The Art of Composition Photography interested Alex for as long as he could remember. He loved capturing moments and sharing them with his friends and family. However, lately he felt that his images lacked something, that special touch that makes an image stand out. He decided to research the techniques used in professional photography to improve his own skills. One of the most important aspects of photography is composition. Composition refers to the arrangement of elements in the image. The position of the subject, the surrounding objects, and the background are all important elements that make up a photograph. Armed with this knowledge, Alex decided to take a closer look at his previous images. He realized that some images looked dull because of the way he arranged the elements in the picture. He recognized that he could have taken a better shot if he had focused on composition. To improve his composition skills, Alex started experimenting with different arrangements of elements in his images. He played around with the positioning of the subject, tried different angles and viewpoints, and adjusted the focus. He learned to consider the rule of thirds where the subject is placed in the third part of the image, making the composition more balanced and appealing. As Alex practiced more, he found that composing an image was like creating a work of art. He became more aware of his surroundings, looking for different angles and unique perspectives. He became more selective when choosing which images to take, realizing that capturing a beautiful moment was not enough. It would also require the skills of a good photographer to highlight it. Now, Alex's photographs stood out in a crowd. The composition was well thought out and well executed, making the images more interesting, engaging, and beautiful. He received many compliments from his friends and family, who were impressed with how much he improved his photography skills. 
composition is just one of the many elements that make a photo stand out. However, it is essential in helping the viewer as I wander around the picture and discover new things. Alex now knew how to arrange the elements in his images to create beautiful compositions that could tell a story, convey emotions, and capture moments like never before. Finally, Alex felt that his newfound skills had given him something special, an eye for beauty and creativity that he could use in all aspects of his life. The art of composition had given his passion for photography a new lease on life, and he was excited to continue learning and growing as he kept capturing the world around him through his lens. Question, what is composition in photography? Check the video description for the answer. The role of lighting. As a budding photographer, Sarah had always been fascinated with the role of lighting in photography. She understood that lighting played a crucial role in setting the mood of a photograph and highlighting the details of the subject. One afternoon, Sarah set out to experiment with her camera and a few different lighting setups. She decided to photograph her friend Jane, who was an aspiring model. Sarah set up a simple white background and used a single light source to illuminate Jane. She positioned the light source to the side of Jane, casting a beautiful shadow on the background. The result was a stunning portrait of Jane, emphasizing the elegant contours of her face. Next, Sarah experimented with different lighting setups to show the impact of lighting on mood. She dimmed the light to create a melancholic mood for one shot, then cranked it up to highlight a vivacious, energetic side of Jane. Sarah learned that lighting could be manipulated to bring out a particular mood in a photograph. She also discovered that the same subject could look drastically different under different lighting setups. Excited by this newfound knowledge, Sarah continued to experiment with lighting, capturing stunning photographs that left her clients in awe. One particularly memorable shoot was with a musician named Tom. Sarah set up a dramatic lighting setup, with shadows and highlights playing across Tom S. space. The result was a striking image that perfectly captured Tom S. moody and introspective nature. Sarah continued to use lighting to her advantage, and her photographs began to gain attention from clients across the city. The stunning portraits she captured spoke to the power of lighting in photography. The role of lighting is indeed critical in photography. It sets the mood, and it has a significant impact on the details of a subject. Sarah S. Journey as a photographer taught her the importance of lighting and how to create a perfect mood using different lighting setups. In conclusion, Sarah may have started her photography journey without much knowledge about the importance of lighting, but with her experimentation came a new appreciation for the significant role it played in capturing beautiful images. With her newfound knowledge, Sarah was able to create stunning portraits that left a lasting impression on viewers. As such, the role of lighting in photography cannot be overstated. Question, why is lighting important in photography? Check the video description for the answer. Capturing emotion. Lena had always been fascinated with the idea of capturing emotion through photographs. She had spent countless hours studying the art of photography, learning everything she could about facial expressions and body language. It was a passion that drove her, and she devoted herself fully to the craft. One day, Lena was walking through the city when she saw something that caught her eye. It was a young couple, standing on the street corner, arguing. Their faces were twisted in anger, and their bodies were tense with frustration. Lena knew that this was the kind of emotion she had been waiting for, the kind that would create a perfect picture. She lifted her camera to her eye and began to snap pictures, capturing every nuance of their emotion. She watched as their faces shifted from anger to sadness to regret. It was a beautiful thing to witness, and Lena felt honored to be able to capture it in her photographs. As she continued to take pictures, she noticed something else happening. The couple began to relax, 
their facial expressions softening and their bodies releasing their tension. Leader realized that her photographs had helped them to release their emotions, to let go of their anger and sadness. It was a revelation to Lena, one that would change the way she thought about photography forever. No longer was it just about capturing emotion, it was about helping people to release their emotions, to find release and renewal through the power of the photograph. From that day on, Lena devoted herself to the art of capturing emotion through photographs. She traveled the world, seeking out moments and people that spoke to her heart. She learned to read people's facial expressions and body language with complete accuracy, capturing every nuance in her pictures. And it wasn't just sadness and anger that she captured. Lena was able to capture love, joy, and ecstasy as well. Her pictures became a portrait of the human experience, a testament to the power of emotion and the beauty of the human spirit. As Lena looked back on her life, she realized that her greatest satisfaction came from the moments when she was able to help someone release their emotions through her pictures. It was a gift that she treasured, one that filled her soul with happiness and fulfillment. And so, Lena continued to capture emotion through her photographs, seeking out the moments that would touch people's hearts and move their souls. It was a mission that she had devoted her life to, and one that she knew would never end. For as long as there were people in the world, there would be emotions to capture and moments to treasure. Question, how can you capture emotion in a photograph? Check the video description for the answer. Landscape photography. The sun was just starting to rise above the horizon, casting a golden glow over the landscape. Zoe had woken up early to capture the perfect shot of the mountains in the distance. As she made her way through the fields, her camera in hand, she took in the beauty of the natural surroundings. Landscape photography had always been a passion of hers. She loved capturing the way that the lighting could transform a scene, how the composition of the natural elements could create a stunning image. Zoe had studied photography in college and had learned about the importance of composition and lighting in creating the perfect landscape shot. She had practiced photographing nature in all sorts of weather conditions and lighting, and had developed an eye for finding the perfect composition. As she came upon a stream in the middle of a meadow, Zoe took a deep breath and began setting up her equipment. She adjusted her camera settings to capture the sparkling water and the lush green plants along the edges of the stream. She experimented with different angles and compositions, moving her tripod around until she found the perfect spot. Her aim was to create an image that would make the viewer feel as though they could step right into the scene and experience the beauty of nature. Zoe took several shots, reviewing each one on her camera screen to make sure she had captured the right lighting and composition. After a few minutes, she was satisfied with her work and packed up her equipment. As she made her way back to her car, Zoe couldn't help but feel grateful for the opportunity to capture such incredible natural beauty. She thought about how landscape photography allowed her to connect with the natural world in a way that nothing else could. By the time she got home, Zoe was eager to review her photos and see which ones had turned out the best. As she looked through them on her computer, she marveled at how the lighting and composition had transformed each scene into a stunning work of art. She selected a few of her favorites and began to edit them, adjusting the contrast and color saturation to bring out the natural beauty of each landscape. And as she worked, she smiled, feeling grateful for the opportunity to capture the beauty of the natural world through her photography. Zoe knew that her passion for landscape photography would continue to inspire her for years to come. With each new scene she captured, she felt more and more connected to the world around her, grateful for the chance to experience its beauty and share it with others through her art. Question, what makes a good landscape photo? Check the video description for the answer. Portrait Photography 
Shireen had always been interested in portrait photography. There was something fascinating about capturing a person's essence in a still image. When she first started out, she found it difficult to make her subjects feel comfortable in front of the camera. But with time and practice, she learned how to help her subjects feel at ease. Recently, Shireen had been approached by a student who wanted to collaborate with her for her photography project. The student would be the subject of the portrait and Shireen would be the photographer. She agreed and invited the student over to her home studio. As the student entered the studio, Shireen greeted her and asked her to take a seat. She began to talk to her, asking her about herself and getting to know her better. Shireen knew that if her subject felt comfortable, it would show in the final portrait. Once Shireen felt that her subject was at ease, she began to give her directions. She asked her to sit in a chair and positioned her in a way that would make for a beautiful portrait. As she took the pictures, she continued to give the student direction, as she wanted to capture the perfect shot. Finally, Shireen felt satisfied with the pictures she had taken. She looked at the student and saw that she looked relaxed and happy. Shireen knew that the pictures would turn out beautifully. As the student got ready to leave, she looked at Shireen and said, Thank you so much for making me feel so comfortable. I was nervous at first, but your directions helped me relax. I can't wait to see the final pictures. Uh, Shireen smiled and said, I know that being in front of the camera can be daunting, but I always try to make my subjects feel at ease. It is important for me to capture them in a way that reflects who they truly are. As the student left, she was pleased with how they had turned out. She had managed to capture the student as personality in each shot. As she sat there, looking at the pictures, Shireen thought about how much she loved portrait photography. There was something magical about capturing a person's essence in a still image. She knew that she would continue to perfect her craft and help her subjects feel comfortable in front of the camera. Question. How can you make your subject feel comfortable during a portrait shoot? Check the video description for the answer. Street photography. Street photography is a type of photography that captures everyday life on the streets. It captures interesting people, unexpected moments and shapes of life that are often missed in the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Sophie was a street photographer who loved to capture people in their natural habitats. She loved the way that street photography allowed her to capture the essence of everyday life. She would often take her camera with her when she walked around town looking for interesting people to photograph. One day, while walking down a busy street, she saw a man who was walking with his eyes closed. He had his arms stretched out in front of him, and he was walking slowly, with purpose. Sophie was intrigued by this man, and she took a photo of him. It was an unexpected moment that she was glad she captured. As she continued to walk, she saw a group of teenagers sitting on the pavement. They were all wearing brightly colored clothes, and they were laughing and joking with each other. Sophie took a photo of them, and she loved the way that the colors in their clothes contrasted with the dull gray pavement. Further down the street, she saw an elderly man who was walking his dog. The man was wearing a flat cap, and he had a twinkle in his eye as he talked to his dog. Sophie took a photo of him, and she loved the way that the man's personality shone through in the photo. As the day went on, Sophie continued to explore the streets of the town. She saw all sorts of interesting people and captured all sorts of unexpected moments. She loved the way that street photography allowed her to capture the essence of everyday life. At the end of the day, Sophie went home and uploaded her photos onto her computer. She looked through them and was pleased with what she had captured. She had a collection of photos that captured the essence of everyday life on the streets. In conclusion, Street photography is a unique way of capturing the essence of everyday life. 
It allows photographers to capture interesting people and unexpected moments in a way that other forms of photography cannot. Sophie loved street photography because it allowed her to capture the soul of the city. She looked forward to her next adventure on the streets of the town and the interesting people and unexpected moments that she would capture. Question, what are the key elements of street photography? Check the video description for the answer. Macro photography. Sophie had always been fascinated with the tiny details of the world around her. As a child, she would spend hours examining ladybugs, ants, and flowers with a magnifying glass, trying to see the world from a new perspective. As she grew older, Sophie became interested in macro photography. She loved being able to capture the intricate details of small subjects and the way that they would be revealed in stunning clarity when viewed up close. One day, Sophie took her camera out to the garden to try her hand at some close-up photography. She found a beautiful butterfly resting on a flower, and she zoomed in to capture its delicate wings and colorful patterns. As she snapped away, Sophie became more and more captivated by the world that she was seeing through her lens. The normally unnoticed details of the flower, the tiny veins in the petals, the drops of dew clinging to the edges of the leaves suddenly became the focal point of her images. Sophie spent hours taking photographs that day, and when she returned home and looked through them on her computer, she was amazed at what she had captured. Each image was a masterpiece of vibrant color and intricate detail, a small world revealed through the lens of her camera. Over the weeks and months that followed, Sophie continued to explore the world of macro photography. She found herself drawn to small subjects that she had never noticed before the patterns on the wings of a fly, the texture of a spider's web, the intricate details of a blooming flower. As she experimented with different approaches and techniques, Sophie began to develop her own unique style. She learned how to use light to her advantage, how to balance depth of field and shutter speed, and how to compose her shots for maximum impact. Eventually, Sophie's photographs became well known within the photography community. Her images were featured in galleries and exhibitions around the world, and she became known for her ability to capture the beauty of small subjects in a way that few other photographers could match. Looking back on her journey, Sophie was amazed at how far she had come. When she first started out in macro photography, she hadn't even known what aperture and shutter speed meant. Now, she was a master of her craft, able to create stunning images that capture the essence of the natural world in minute detail. For Sophie, macro photography had opened a whole new world of possibilities and she knew that she would continue to explore this fascinating and endlessly rewarding field for many years to come question what is macro photography check the video description for the answer black and white photography the young photographer stood in front of his latest creation with awe the black and white photo depicted a dramatic scene with a couple standing in a crowded street, embracing tightly. They were oblivious to the surroundings, lost only in their emotions. There was something about black and white photography that gave the image a timeless quality, as if it had been taken many years ago. Photography was more than just a hobby for the young man. He had always been fascinated by the way a single photo could capture a moment in time, filled with emotion and meaning. Black and white photography, in particular, was his favorite medium. It added a sense of drama and depth to the images that he captured. He often spent hours wandering around the city, looking for inspiration for his next photo shoot. He would move quietly through the streets, observing people and trying to capture their feelings through the lens of his camera. It was the challenge of capturing that one perfect moment that made photography so exciting for him. Reflecting on the photo in front of him, the young man couldn't help but feel a sense of fulfillment. It was the perfect capture of raw emotion, timeless yet contemporary. 
he knew that his photo would touch the hearts of many who viewed it. Black and white photography allowed him to experiment with light and shadow, creating contrast and depth in his images. He was always striving to improve his craft, learning from the works of other great photographers. He admired the work of the masters, such as Ansel Adams and Henry Cartier Bresson, who had a knack for capturing life in all its beauty. As he looked at his latest work, he realized that photography was more than just capturing images. It was about telling a story, conveying emotion, and creating a connection with the viewer. Black and white photography allowed him to do just that. Lost in thought, the young man didn't notice the passage of time. When he looked up, the sun was setting in the distance, casting a warm glow across the city. It was the perfect setting for his next photo shoot, capturing the vibrant colors of the city as it transitioned from day to night. But for now, he would continue admiring his latest masterpiece, a black and white photo that captured the raw emotion and drama of life in the city. Question, why would a photographer choose to shoot in black and white? Check the video description for the answer. Action photography. It was a beautiful day to capture some action photography with my new camera. As a beginner, I was excited to experiment with different settings and techniques to capture motion. I started by playing around with the fast shutter speed, setting it to 1 slash 1,000th of a second to freeze the action. I headed to the nearby park, where I knew I would find some skateboarders and cyclists whom I could photograph. The first shot I took was of a skateboarder performing a kickflip. With my fast shutter speed, I was able to freeze the motion of the board in mid-air, giving me a beautifully crisp image. Next, I decided to try out the panning technique. This is where you move the camera at the same speed as the moving subject, resulting in a subject that is in focus and everything else that is in motion being blurred. I found a cyclist riding at a decent pace and started tracking them with my camera. After a few attempts, I managed to capture an amazing shot of the rider in focus and the background blurred. I was having so much fun trying out different techniques and capturing the energy of the park. The fast shutter speed was giving me sharp shots of high-flying skateboarders and BMX riders, and the panning technique allowed me to capture the speed and motion of the cyclists. As the sun started to set, I decided to head to the beach to try and capture some action shots of surfers. The waves were big and the sun was setting beautifully in the sky. I switched my camera to a higher ISO setting to increase the exposure and again used a fast shutter speed to freeze the motion of the surfers. The results were incredible, capturing the energy and power of the waves and the surfers riding them. I was pretty pleased with my progress and felt I had captured some amazing images for a beginner photographer. I packed away my camera and made my way home eager to examine my shots more closely. When I got back, I eagerly transferred the images to my computer and began sifting through them. There were a few shots that I absolutely loved, including the panning shot of the cyclist and the image of the surfer riding a wave. I felt proud of my progress, knowing that each time I took my camera out it was an opportunity to learn something new and capture something special. As I closed my laptop and got ready to get some rest, I realized just how much I had grown to enjoy capturing action photography. It was an exciting challenge, but capturing those moments of motion, energy, and excitement made it all worth it. Question, what techniques can be used to capture motion in a photograph? Check the video description for the answer. Wildlife Photography as a wildlife enthusiast, Bill Morgan decided to explore the beautiful landscapes around his hometown through his passion for photography. With his camera in hand, Bill ventured out into the wilderness, capturing images of various animals in their natural habitats. Bill approached his work with the utmost respect for the wildlife and their habitats. 
he understood the importance of maintaining a distance from the animals and not interfering with their natural behavior. Bill S. Love of Photography was also his way of promoting conservation and educating others about protecting wildlife. To capture the perfect image, Bill often had to exhibit patience for hours on end, waiting for the right moment to snap a shot. He observed the animals closely and took advantage of their natural movements, capturing their beauty in its purest form. On one trip to photograph a family of deer, Bill reached the edge of a forest clearing and set up his camera. As the deer approached, Bill lowered himself to the ground to avoid spooking them. He began to snap pictures of the deer as they grazed, capturing their peaceful demeanor. Suddenly, a bird took to the air and perched on the antlers of one of the deer. Bill was stunned at the sight and snapped a photo at just the right moment. In the image, the deer stood still while the bird watched as the sun began to set behind them. Bill returned home excited about the photo he had captured. He submitted it to a local photography contest and won first prize. His image was praised for its perfect representation of the peaceful coexistence of the wild animals in their natural habitats. Bill S. passion for wildlife photography inspired him to travel to remote locations where he could capture the greatest range of animals in their wild habitats. He also used his photos to promote environmental conservation worldwide. Over time, Bill S. photographic skills improved and his photos became recognized for their compositions, lighting, and colors. His images were published in numerous wildlife magazines, exhibitions, and tourist brochures. As Bill continued his travels, he never lost his respect for the animals he photographed. He believed in maintaining a safe distance so that the animals would never feel threatened or disturbed. This allowed him to observe and capture images that showed the animals in their true, natural behavior. To this day, Bill is known as one of the most respected wildlife photographers in the world. His passion and respect for the animals and their habitats allowed him to capture images that have inspired others to cherish and protect wildlife for generations to come. Question, what is important to keep in mind when photographing wildlife? Check the video description for the answer. The Business of Photography Simon had always been passionate about photography. From a young age, he had an eye for capturing moments with his camera. After years of taking pictures as a hobby, he decided to turn his passion into a business. He knew that starting his own photography business would be a challenge, but he was determined to make it work. The first step was to create a plan. Simon knew that he needed to focus on marketing and networking to get his name out there. He started by creating a website and social media pages to showcase his work. He also reached out to friends and family to spread the word about his business. As he began to book clients, Simon quickly realized that quality services were essential to his success. He invested in high-quality equipment and continued to educate himself on the latest photography techniques. He also made sure to communicate with his clients to understand their needs and preferences. One of Simon's biggest challenges was pricing his services. He knew that he didn't want to undercut his competitors, but he also didn't want to overcharge. After researching other photography businesses and considering his own expenses, he settled on a fair price for his clients. Simon's hard work paid off as his business began to grow. He received positive feedback from his clients and was even recommended by them to their friends and family. He also started to develop relationships with other businesses in the area, which led to new opportunities. Networking proved to be one of the most valuable aspects of running a photography business. Simon attended events in his community and connected with other professionals in the industry. He also collaborated with local businesses on projects, which helped to expand his client base. As Simon's business continued to thrive, he knew that he wanted to take it to the next level. He started to consider offering additional services, 
such as videography and photo editing. He also began to think about how he could expand his reach beyond his local community. Running a photography business was not without its challenges, but Simon's passion for the art kept him motivated. With a focus on quality services, marketing, networking, and continuous learning, he was able to turn his passion into a successful business. Question. How can a photographer make a living through their craft?